Hey guys, this is Kaching. Since this past summer, we've released a UI preview for all you guys to try, and we've gotten a lot of feedback from you and uh, are working on some of those improvements. And today, I want to share with you some of the things that we've been working on based on the feedback that you gave us. So let's look at what the UI preview looks like today. Okay, so here's Fusion 360 with the UI preview enabled. You can see that I have a number of document tabs open. We've got our tabs in our design workspace. I can switch to surface, I can go to sheet metal, I can go to solid, and that's all great. But there's definitely room for improvement here. We've gotten a lot of feedback from you in terms of how tall the, the uh, toolbar has gotten. Uh, it's encroaching your design space. There's also some usability issues. So we've taken a lot of those into consideration and we are working on uh, really nice improvements to address those pain points. So what I'm going to show you now is our latest dev branch uh, and it's got an improved UI to it. So are you ready? Give me a drum roll please. And here it is. All right, check it out. This version of the UI is what we call codename Airy. And some of the more immediate obvious changes you'll notice right away is that blue bar at the top is gone. You don't see that anymore. Now it's way more neutral. It blends in in the background and just makes your design pop more. So you can focus on what matters the most. The other thing you'll notice right away is we've consolidated the document bar and the quick access bar um, to one bar. So now these icons your save, file, uh, file, save, redo, undo are in the same line as your document tabs. So that really reduces the overall toolbar height by about 34 pixels. So it gives back some of that design real estate to you and, uh, and allows you to use that space better. Other things we've done to the toolbar is just cleaned up some of these icons so there's less cluttered. Uh, we also added some nice feedback to these document tabs. Uh, you can see when you hover over, now there's the name and project that pro the document belongs to, but also give you a nice hover state so that you know that it's, uh, it's what you're hovering over. Now the other thing we've improved here is once, you've get, once you have a bunch of different documents open, uh, the overflow experience is no longer this weird scrolling issue that you've seen in the past. Um, now you've got this drop down menu, very way more predictable. You can go to a certain uh, document, you can go to anyone that you've picked and it'll jump right to that document. Now a couple other changes we've made to the tab themselves is assemble used to be a tab up here, but we've heard based on your feedback that when you're working with assemblies, you are going through a lot of clicks and jumping between tabs back and forth, back and forth. And that can become kind of tedious. So we've added assemble back as a panel within the solid tab, the surface tab, and the sheet metal tab. So now you have access to those assembly tools in, their, in those specific tabs. So you don't have to keep jumping through tabs. We've also made some improvement to sketch. Uh, what you'll notice right away here one, the sketch toolbar is no longer all filled in this blue color. It's no longer colored blue throughout. We've essentially colored the sketch tab and colored the stop sketch so that it stands out more. And what's good about this is now when you switch over to the solid tab, you can see that the sketch tab is still active and you can differentiate it from the other tabs that the sketch tabs, the sketch tab is a contextual tab. So when you get over back to it, you can still access your sketch tools. You'll also see that the constraints are now all visible. We've heard feedback that it's a little, it's tedious to go into those drop down menus and look for the constraints that you need. So we've added them all to the top. And the other thing we've added to the constraints is uh, the contextual behavior. So now based on what you select, uh, the constraints will gray out uh, the ones that are no longer valid to the selection. 
So the ones that are valid stay active and the ones that aren't valid will gray out. We're still fine tuning some of the details, so keep posted on our blog as we will make sure to let you know timing around when this will be available. So really appreciate you guys giving us all the feedback and uh, we love to connect. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, make sure you comment on, on the comment section below and stay tuned and uh, I will see you guys later. Thank you so much.